quickly. My name is Annie. If you are new to this channel, welcome once again. If you're returning, thank you for stopping by. This, my YouTube channel deals with some hair, some skin, which has always been my pet peeve and help boosting your immune system. It deals with a little bit of everything. And I, you know, do in the kitchen with Annie. So when you're in the kitchen with me, it could be anything we might be looking at. We might be sharing something together. So today, what I wanted to look at was another tincture. We did a tincture a couple of days ago, but I wanted to look at another power. We are going to be looking at ashwagandha and beetroot. And I paired those two together because to me, in doing my research and thing, I just think that they complement each other. And Later, we are going to get into some of the benefits because these things have so much benefits. And as I tell you, it is just a powerhouse of a tincture. And these tinctures that are done with the um, alcohol, the, water, the 80 proof alcohol, normally lasts about 10 years or so. When they do the one with the glycerin, later, that lasts probably up to two years. So to me, economically wise, I like the one that lasts 10 years. So let's look at, once again, let's look at the things that we are, well, everything here is sterilized. Don't forget, you have to sterilize everything in a little bleach water then make sure that they are thoroughly dry because where there's water, there's light. So we don't want any light growing in anything that we are doing. And um, the ashwagandha, what I normally would do is I used it in a lot of my hair products and the oils and stuff like that but a few months ago i started using it more internally after seeing how good it is for you because it is a stress reliever it is let me not get ahead of myself let me i have a 12 ounce bottle today and also an eight ounce bottle so i am thinking that maybe I will do my tincture in the 12 volts because that will give me more because it's not going to be ready to say four to six weeks so um, in case there's anybody that is interested I would already have it done these are my bottles that I would use today last time I show you some green bottles you could use the amber you could use the green, you could use the blue, but just make sure that they're tinted, not tinted, but just make sure that they're colored bottles so that the um, light doesn't get into, you know, it just takes away a lot of the purity of the tincture that we are making. So I'm showing you these bottles today. This is my little thing that I put in the bottle to just pour my stuff in so I don't make a mess because it's so easy to make a mess. These are my, I use glass. I don't use plastic. This is years. I hardly use plastic. I even drink my stuff out of glass containers and everything because I think that plastic, I always see plastic just holding, holding things in it. So I always feel that if, if I could put curry or whatever in a plastic container, it stays yellow. You know, God knows what else goes in 
what else seeps in there. So these days we are looking at our health and we're looking at it even more dramatically than before. And I have, oh, I didn't bring them with me, but I have quite a few books that I wouldn't call myself a herbalist or anything because actually I don't like labels. So I would have called myself that or, I, but I'm a person that loves herbs and natural things for years and years of my life growing up in Barbados. I always say that. For those of you that know me, know that I always say that. Growing up in Barbados, that's the way it was. My grandmother grew me. And as I said, this is my ashwagandha. This and this is one ounce that I have here. And then this is my beetroot. And I normally would put my beetroot in um, my uh, fruits, you know, my fruit smoothies or anything like that. But as I said before, in my last video with the tincture, you're getting all the goodness in the tincture and you don't have to take out the blender, take out the fruits, and do all of that, you just put a little, uh, about 10 drops of detention in some water. And I know a lot of you are fearful for alcohol. But there's some tinctures that you just, are, are extracts, whatever you choose to call them, that you just have to, um, that you just should use the alcohol. Because you can't use the glycerine with the powders. You can do with the cut and sifted, which I'll show you, um, but with the powders, no. So, the first thing I am going to do, I am going to put the two of these together. Once again, and we will, and this is how I make it. I don't know if this is all on YouTube too, but I just wanted to pair the two of these together because I just, as I said earlier, I just think that they complement each other so, so well. And I am going to use, now this is the way how it looks all mixed and everything. They call it ashwagandha means smell like a horse. And that's because astrogandha does have a weird smell. It doesn't have a bad taste because I'm used to herbs and everything. So it might not have a bad taste to me, but it might have a bad taste to other people. And then, okay, let me just put that down for a minute. And it reduces stress. And that was one of the things that I loved about it because it reduces your stress level. You know, when you are under stress, your body releases this um, chemical called cortisol. And what the ashwagandha does is that it helps to reduce that cortisol level so that... Um, your stress level will be reduced and it is good for anxiety. It is also known as um, Indian ginseng, although it's no family to the ginseng um, group, but, and I like these because the beet, the beet root, that's a, that's a root and the ashwagandha is a shrub. So people might find it weird blended the two of those together but i blend them together because of the health benefits of both of them and ashwagandha is good for hair health it helps to grow your hair it is um what else it is rich in anti-inflammatory antioxidants you know i tell you all that all the time 
it is good for the brain. And when you're getting to a certain age, like me, when you're getting to a certain age, you need brain power. <laughs> you need brain health. So, ashwagandha does that. It does that. Just like, you know, a lot of people would know about the jingle biloba and all those. Those are good brain power um, herbs that you can use. It helps with the male fertilization. Helps them to, you know, if they have having low sperm count or something and it's an energy booster for them when they're going in the gym. Or ladies too. Is an energy energy booster, and it is so much different things that you can look at the ashwagandha with. There's a lot more, and I don't want this video to go on too long. So, but you can do your research and see. And it's always good to do research because that's what I do. That's what I did. I've been dealing with you know herbs for years now this is probably going into six years now when i was home i dealt with it a little bit but we didn't have the quantity that i have here now so just do your research and another thing i want to say is that if you are taking any kind of medication or you are breastfeeding or pregnant or um, seeing a doctor for any ailments, I would suggest that you consult your doctor before you start any herbal regimen because sometimes things are not what might be good for me might not be good for you or whatever. So before you do anything like that just see your physician okay the beets the beets the beet root is good for so much things as well what i loved about it was the fact that it cleanses your body it cleanses your blood it purifies your blood it it helps the blood flow to flow better things that you should just look for in your herbal regimen and beetroot is one of them That's, it not only helps with the blood flow but it's a cancer fighting agent and it cleanses the it cleanses the liver and the, the but we are going to put this into our bottle now you have to see all the all the vapor coming up <laughs> from they say then we are going to put our vodka in and I'm glad that I am making enough take now we are going to give this a good shake because you have to get your powder all blended in and then we are going to top this up because we don't want any kind of um your flow or anything like if you are liking this video so far just give me a like please give me a like a share and subscribe because that helps these videos to go a little further and send me a comment if you want me to you know work on anything because this is in the kitchen with Annie 
so just send me a comment now this is our 12 ounce bottle of tincture this is going to sit now for the next four to six weeks before we can even use it but when it's ready it is going to last us up to 10 years so I think that is an awesome 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 thing because I'm so I wanted to do this for a long time I am so happy about that I am going to come back and do another one and this one is going to be for my daughter she suffers with anemia she suffers with there are a lot of things that she suffered with this one was I did it this blend I did specially um, for you know the older generation and let's get some more so we are going to label it we're going to put the what it is and it is stress reliever tincture not only a stress reliever but a body purifier and it's we're going to put today's date and then we're going to put the date of when it's going to be ready and as i said i want to share these things with y'all with my family because i no longer want to just do this stuff and just put up a picture but i will be sharing some of the things from time to time and once again if you like it just subscribe just give me a like and i want to thank you once again for joining me my name is annie and this is Sweet Annie's Life. And I hope that you enjoyed this recipe today because I thoroughly enjoyed making it because I know of the goodness that is inside of this bottle. So have a great day and I will be seeing you.